All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for an unboxing that I have been waiting for. Seems like forever since we've had a new Jack Wolf knife in here, and it is time to fix that. So, yeah, I know they're off camera. It's just a, we're working on the focus issue. So, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started. And, uh, guys, you know this is the uh, artwork from the Little Bro Jack. And the Little Bro is so cool, but it's time, finally, to give Little Bro a Big Bro. Now, you, I know you guys don't have the Little Bro yet, uh, but this will be coming out the middle of the year. Uh, great knife, and this is the Big Bro. So I'm gonna take it off camera because the label wraps all the way around. And we're going to use uh, this slicey crazy, it just glided right through that and not a problem at all. And of course, it comes in the typical Jack Wolf knife box. But you know what? Since we took a month off from having a new Jack Wolf knife every month, uh, we're going to show the box a little bit. So there is the typical modern interpretation of a timeless design in case there are new folks out here that have not seen there's the story from Ben Belkin of his grandfather and everything, if you want to pause and look at that. And now we're going to open this up. And we're the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare the artwork. So now we've got Little Bro here, and there is Big Bro. We've got those on both. You can see uh, Little Bro's a little more prominent there. And Big Bro's a little more prominent here. And this one says Big Bro Jack. Very cool. Sean Tiffany kills the artwork, guys. So we'll put the Little Bro uh, back here where you can see him. And we'll get started opening this one. You got the, whoops, the screw open cap. And, of course, you're going to have the awesome artwork on the pog here. And it's going to say Big Bro Jack. Awesome, awesome. All right, and uh, the, the, these cans are always so stinking cool. And inside the can, you've got your Jack Wolf uh, leather slip, which in this case is the dark leather one, uh, which is absolutely my favorite. I like that. All right, we'll put Big Bro back here now so you can see him too. So there's Little Bro and Big Bro. Just kind of sit the cap up there. And uh, we have a sticker, and in this case, it says family. Look at that, guys. You got the artwork and family. That is a great sticker. I keep all that stuff. Now, we got a blue cloth this time around, and I already know. I didn't show you, so I'll go ahead and do that. I didn't show you which one I got because Ben did the, the order a little bit different, so I already know which one's in here. Um, Big Bro Jack, Camo Carbon Sunset Orange. That's what we're going to see. And so let's get into this very, very cool. And I am excited to check this out because that orange really pops. Look at that. Uh, everything I had seen on these, I was hoping for some of that blaze orange. You got kind of two shades of orange there, it looks like. More like a burnt orange and then a really bright like blaze orange there. And look at that with the little, ah, oh, that's awesome. Got a little, almost like a heart there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, very cool. Now, this is the camo carbon, which always looks a little bit different than the fat carbon ones, but this looks stunning. I really like that one. Um, there are some cool choices this time. The Nebula looks really good. Uh, some of the others do, but I think this is probably going to be the second best seller behind the Nebula. Uh, you got, of course, for those that are new, a titanium uh, frame with stainless steel um, back, uh, back spring. Focus. Come on. There we go. Uh, there's, again, we're doing this. Whoops. I'm doing the same thing here I was trying to avoid by putting all this in the background. It's trying to focus on this. So I'm going to move the cans for now and put them back in at the end. It just tries to focus on everything other than what it's supposed to be focusing on. There we go. See, that helped. Uh, if I take a bunch of stuff out, it does a whole lot better. So this is going to be a beautiful clip point blade. And oh yeah, already you can see it's taller than the little bro. Man, there we go. Taller than the little bro. You got this gorgeous clip. You have a beautiful satin finish. Uh, this is a sleeve board with both a single fluted 
uh, gray titanium bolster and a single fluted end cap. Uh, I think I got that right this time. And again, there is your back spring, which is flush in all... Well, I was showing the wrong end of it, dummy. Uh, it comes out, but it's flush in the half stop. Flush open and flush closed. Very cool. And listen to this. Very poppy. Six and a half easily. Yeah, I call that six and a half. It's a good pincher. Very nice. Got that great... Uh, hollow grind and you can just reach right around that pinch it right open that's my favorite very cool let's do our comparison to the little bro here there is big bro and where'd I put little bro so little bro uh, was the uh, dark matter fat carbon orange um, and that didn't have a lot of orange I mean there's a tiny little bit you can see there and there, there's a little bit of orange, but not a lot. So this one's got a lot more orange, and I think that's cool. They still go well together. So first things first, it looks like um, we have a taller blade. Little bit there. We definitely have, if we line them pivot to pivot, you can see the bolster's taller, the scale is taller. Uh, you definitely have um, a taller blade and very cool you do have uh, a nice swell here uh, feels feels good how's it feeling okay so this size feels really nice in the hand uh, s90 V on this one of course little bro is m390 uh, but this one this guy big bro is s90 V so excellent 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 I am excited all right tell you what um, we are going to put the artwork back in here. We'll just we'll just deal with it. There's little bro, and there is big bro. And we'll just keep uh, the box out here. But uh, there is your leather slip and your sticker. Uh, very very cool. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I always am excited and uh, just blessed that Ben has picked me to be a part of this group that kind of gets these knives in an early release so that we can uh, check them out. I have been on the live stream, which I will uh, on Monday night. Uh, ben will be on the live stream to talk about the release. And uh, I get to do that and I get to, to give you guys an unboxing and a review. And uh, Ben, I really, really, every time these come in, it's like a little bit of Christmas. And this is no exception. Again, the very classic feel. Uh, matter of fact, I showed Little Bro to my mom tonight. My mom said, oh, because she had been looking at some of the other stuff I was carrying, like this, for example. And she, she was trying to figure this one out. And when I brought that guy out, she goes, oh, look, a knife. <laughs> she says, just a knife. And I love it. And so that's... To, you know, these are a traditional kind of what people are used to seeing and in a, I, I, you know, in a way with this fat carbon and the higher end steel in and the way they're flush, just like I said, ridiculous finishing on these. It is unbelievably good. No seams at all. Um, just really nice. And so it's just a comfort factor of that traditional knife with just wow finishing and, and materials. So really, really awesome. Thank you so much, Ben. And again, looking forward to having him on. And guys, let me know what you think down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up and be looking for these. Now, these are going to release on Friday the 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll have the links down below to Jack Wolf's site and to this specific knife. And I always put the link in there to all the dealers. These will not be available on Jack Wolf's website. They'll be available on d at dealer sites. Um, all the big dealers, okay? Just think about it that way. But I will put the list up so you can see what's what. So there you go, guys. So stinking cool. Thank you again, Ben. And guys, thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.